daisy chains and sweet champagne and two days alone with you not too far from the city by car oh maybe we can make a more romantic trip by train to the country it's where i want to be everyone today is Saturday uh, Saturday let's see the 17th or 18th September it's September uh, I don't know 17th or 18th Saturday um, and I'm out here uh, getting prepared for my next project and because I've had so many of you, um, uh, you know, t you, know I've, you, you guys have known that I've been working or going to do this project for some time. And so many of you have said, hey, please do videos, even though I'm not doing a whole lot of videos on other stuff. Um, I figured I would um, take you along and show you the construction of, of the uh, brick pizza uh, the pizza oven uh, brick oven grill smoker that we're get that I'm come on cut open and so this is a this is a big project I'm trying to open this I should have done this before I started but because I haven't even looked here there we go and uh, well this is going to be a, a, a first a first project for me. I've, I've never done this before. I've done some other, uh, you know, masonry type. I've done some tile work and stuff, but this is going to be the first of these. And to be quite honest, I've done my education of what's going on um, via some other YouTube channels and the way they've done it. So. Uh, we're getting ready to get started. This is going to be a three major phase uh, project. There's three different uh, levels we're going to have to get into, but we're at the beginning of it. I uh, kind of already gave you, well, I may not have ever posted it now that I think about it. Oh, shucks. Anyway, um, let's just start from fresh and let's go over what we've got from materials here. I'm not even sure I've got enough of everything. Uh, cross your fingers. I can't do it with those. Let's see, cross your fingers for me uh, that I've gotten enough to at least get a, get a good start on this thing and uh, let's 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 talk through it so that if any of you are interested in doing this uh, you'll have a clue and a concept of um, some of the things you'll need to deal with so let me flip you around here there we go so uh, Let's start with the beginning. Uh, T and I, way earlier this spring, we uh, poured ourselves a pad of uh, concrete for this to go on. And there was about a dozen, dozen or so bags of concrete. We had a lot of rock from our rock pile down there that we filled in, okay, to, to kind of thicken it up and give it a good broad base. So it's pretty good. I don't think it's gonna have any issues supporting the weight that we've got. Uh, I've collected a bunch of, I've got some more over there and some others, uh, older used blocks and stuff that we're going to use for structural. Um, some of you have seen, some of you have, excuse me, haven't seen. I've gotten a pretty sizable load of brick. God, I hope. So I got five and a half layers, five and a half layers. I hope that's enough to go one, two, three, four ish and then the, the the top of the oven um, we'll have to see how that goes it's going to use up a lot of brick doing this and I'm going to do them on edge so that I can get the best surface area plus I kind of want to highlight these are some antique block or brick from um, you can see it on this one maybe you can see it see it on here uh, a B and T. 
I'm not sure what A was for, but I think it's something brick and tile uh, out of Little Rock. And these are uh, almost a, or around about 100 years old. They came from a building that was built a long, long time ago and then has been torn down. And uh, no, the uh, live trap is not a part of the project. So we'll set it over here for the moment. Um, I've re I'm going to recycle these cast iron grill plates. I've got three of them and they came out of an, a barbecue grill and those are very very good quality cast iron ones and something went wrong with the uh, grill so somebody got rid of it and I saw it on the side of the road and I said can I just uh, take those and he said get it out of here and I did. There you go. So I've got some grills that are going to go on the grill side of it. Uh, grill um, uh, grates, whatever you want to call them. And over here, what I was fumbling with is my fire brick. So I've got uh, each one of these boxes contain 25 uh, fire brick, and I've got uh, five of them, and they weren't too bad a cost. They were only uh, 20 something bucks each. I've got a bunch of bags of sand. How many do I have there? Seven bags of sand. And that will be mixed with uh, the Portland uh, cement. And these two buckets were another bag, but the bag ripped, so we poured them into some of our buckets so they'd stay dry. And then we also have, I've gotten three, three of these bags of perlite to mix with mix with the the mortar mix the sand and the portland for um doing insulative brick uh mortar around the block and stuff so we've got a concrete pad to start with we got our block is going to be the exterior and i may uh a buddy of mine's got some uh some really nice earthy tile i may do the top of the con uh the the uh, uh concrete uh deck or bench or whatever you want to call it this big slab i'm going to do up top may cover it in tile just for the looks we'll see how that goes he's got a lot of it and so we got sand we got mortar we got um a whole lot of that fire brick we got uh some some red brick uh, building brick and that's going to look uh gorgeous and way up there is a pallet full of uh, bags of concrete and we're gonna I got a pretty good amount of that I needed some of that for the, the woodshed back there and um, I know I'm gonna need some here and then the rest whatever is left over will go for our uh, root cellar so these are the uh, uh, items I have here like I said I've dug up out of a uh, mess that was on the side of the road somewhere a bunch of uh, cinder blocks that are um, they're, they're used and and then I've got a few more over there and then I got some some other cinder block I don't know where I put them I've also got some that I'm I have at my step out out here if I need to I can use them all right I've set up a workstation um, I've got a bunch of cedar strips that I'm going to rip down into basically one by ones. Um, I've got a whole bunch of this blackjack oak. It's not really great for finish work or anything because it splits and cracks a heck of a lot. But it's going to be some good construction material. You can see I've gone ahead and plane this down, but as soon as it dries, it starts splitting and stuff. It'd look really pretty if it didn't. I mean, there's some very nice looking green in it, but this is going to be construction wood, and go back over here, this pile of cedar that I didn't mention, those are all my scrap pieces, and a whole lot of one by, so uh, I'm going to use this cedar and these scrap pieces because they are uh, something that will uh, handle the moisture and um, weather very well. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is essentially, like I said, three phases. So let's talk about the first phase. 
the first phase is to build an uh, basically a wood box arc arched structure here and then to build another kind of batter board interior frame structure here that will support the a basically open box area for the grills to sit across the top of them uh, for my gr for my grill and uh, this wood is going to be very very challenging to uh, build and put together because when I'm done all of it needs to be disassembled and pulled out so all I have is concrete on the inside of my wood storage area uh, over here this whole area uh, is going to be supporting the the concrete and the brick and all that and and it's actually going to stay inside so I'm actually going to uh, block it concrete it and close it in so I'm going to have to make sure that I'm going to have to make sure that um, uh, uh, I have something that's uh, isn't going to rot away all that quickly. Not that I'm concerned about it staying there for structural purposes, but uh, I want something that that you know one isn't going to attract insects because the the oak. Uh, if that, that if there's anywhere that uh, there's a hole in moisture somehow or another bugs may find their way in and I don't want all that in there so I'm, I'm gonna do the cedar and maybe it eventually rots but I'm hoping that eventually I get a some kind of roof or cover over this so it does not get exposed to uh, moisture so first stage is to build two sets of framing and their interior framing uh, one that's gonna be kind of I almost want to say chair like where you got like an armrest back and an armrest and then a seat and that's because that's where the firebox is going to go the other is going to be an archway uh, it's going to have a back on it and then a side and then over and down and then once I get these done my first level of block laying is going to be basically to build the exterior walls of the whole thing all the way around and fill in uh, the middle where these um, older used cinder blocks are going to go to support the in interior side of it. This thing's going to be pretty strong because uh, once once the first phase is done I tear apart what I have to in the way of batter boards and framing and then I'll have to build the outer section uh, up for a basically another concrete slab platform ish that is going to have an opening here in this area for the uh, the, the grill area and then I'm going to have to have some kind of flue that goes uh, from the firebox up into through the upper concrete platform and into the dome that will be the um, the ovens the pizza oven bread oven section so I'll be able to have a fire in that and a fire in here so if I want to smoke something I close this up and let the smoke go up into this cavity smoke it up and then up through the flue and be able to smoke meats and such um, like that so uh, I've done a lot of research I think I got most everything sorted out in my head not a hundred percent but um, the in this it this portion I can just screw it together and not think about it this section I have to screw it together in a way that I can back out the screws and, and crawl up in here and take it apart and not have it stick so that's why the the blackjack I've got in there I've been pl I've planed it down so that I can get a somewhat finished surface on the on the inside when you look in there that, that it's um, um, you know somewhat neat and, 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 and finished looking and uh, the concrete doesn't bond to the rough rough surface because you have like here on this cedar this is this is uh, been planed down so it's nice and smooth but this is still sawmill rough cut like here and here well hello there mittens you gonna say hi so the concrete is more likely to want to bind to this porous rough surface and I want to be able to pull everything out of that firewood cavity um, and have it 
you know, fairly neat and clean looking. You gonna give me another scritching? Scritches, scritches. You like to roll over and say pet me. Ah, goodness. So, um, I guess what I'm probably going to do, I've gone over everything. You've seen all the materials. Uh, I can't say for definite um, how much I'm going to need on every part of it. It'll just kind of go as we go. And in the end, we'll look and see whether I needed to go get more or something or not. We'll figure it out. I don't know. Uh, but for me, i got to take it one step at a time. I've seen these project, types of projects done before, and I know what I have ahead of me. But, like I said, this is going to be the first time, the first time that I've ever done this. So, what I'm going to do is, same as I do with most of my projects, explain to you what, I'm, uh, what I've got, materials, uh, walk you through the thinking on uh, how to go about it and then give you the comprehension of the tasks that are necessary but not necessarily um, uh, well, I'll show you but what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and build these um, these frameworks and I want to get that done and then before I start laying uh, concrete and block I will show you the interior supports and and you know what I came up with so that you can think through that in case you want to do it yourself so we'll uh, jump back with you at that point all right quick little uh, update on where we're at um, uh, look down here honey all right so dimensions wise our concrete slab is four foot, stay with me honey, four foot wide by eight foot long, okay? Now what I'm determining, all right, so what I'm determining is where my walls are going to be, okay? So there's going to be an outside wall here, and an outside wall here, and we got an internal wall here, we're not done filling it these uh, old blocks that I found are going to be fillers but this is going to be a solid wall and the outside wall there and there and here and then this is going to be open right here so there's going to be an, a bit of a platform and an arch here between these two side walls so that I can put my wood in this is my wood box to store in I've gotten the uh, six I think I may get some of those two inch blocks. I got some two inch blocks sitting over there to bring up the level. All right, so my uh, my goal for the first phase here is to get 36 inches, which is about here, which means I need more fill. So I'm gonna build an arch. I'm gonna build an arch from this line to that line with my wood. And it's gonna it's gonna be a wall comes up, angles over, goes over, angles down, and comes down. You'll see that here in a bit. And then I'm gonna get a couple inches of concrete. I got a couple inches of concrete in between here and on this side, because this is gonna be one solid concrete wall here to the base. And then we're gonna end up doing a, uh, a concrete uh, about an inch and a half or so of concrete on top of this arch the wooden arch that I'm gonna have to disassemble and pull out of here because all I want in here is, is the concrete walls and the second phase of this uh, will be the platform and we'll have to re uh, batter board this whole thing and frame it up to pour that level but that's the second level so for the first level is I've got to build this uh, cavity here in such a way that I can disassemble it now on this side, oops, get my shoe back on. On this side, this is the, this is going to be the grill box right here. So if you look over here, I've measured, measured out these grills. They're 17, 17 by 24 and a half. So what I need is I got 23 by 16, which means once I 
uh, build my wooden frame in here, I'm going to have concrete come down around the edges of it and on top of it, and I'm going to level out a platform. And I'm not 100% sure of what that bottom is. If my top is going to be at 36, which is right here, I'm going to try and I probably need to bring it up a bit. I probably need to bring it up another layer of blocks, I think, to get it up here. Because you don't need, you don't need that, that deep a, maybe? Oh, let me think through that a bit. Because mm -hmm. if I bring it up a couple inches with concrete, and then I got my internal, uh, internal framing to essentially hold the concrete, all of the walls, the exterior walls around here are going to be these really neat old bricks. And then we're going to brick lay them right on the edge like that. And this back side, is that we're going to infill this back all the way up. So there's going to be brick on the face and then infill on the back uh, once we get our batter boards built. Uh, we're going to infill it with... Um, uh, just just some concrete mix uh, out of them bags that we got up there. So whew, It went from nice and cool to oh my goodness hot. Yes, where are we at time was 438 All right, good enough for this segment. We'll be back in a bit All right, so it is the next day and we uh, had visitors yesterday afternoon, so that kind of distracts. Stand under the shade, honey. You, it's getting hot. We're gonna have this hot week, and uh, so we almost didn't do nothing. We shouldn't have done anything, because it's we're gonna. Uh, I understand uh, our friends um, uh, back back in California. Our friends uh, Lynette and Rainey. Life. Yeah, I know they. They they got mean. They got mean. They sent the dang heat over here. They they said they're done with the heat. They were sending it over here just for our enjoyment. So, yes. Lynette, Rainy, um, thank you. We got 96, 97. Almost 100 degree weather again. for the next couple of two or three days before. Anyway, haha, -ha, jab jab, poke poke. Yeah. We're out here um, working on the framing of the batter boards and the stuff that we're gonna have so you're starting to see it okay I need to probably get a few more of these guys right here to fill in okay um, but this is the framing and I want you to make some observations here so first off I hate this blackjack oak because as soon as the Sun hits it and it dries out it starts splitting like crazy right here and look at it it just uh, so we put the canopy up here yeah. and so we're, we're trying to build the inside frame here and T and I've been working on this for a couple hours here we had some errands to run this morning got back and we almost said screw it for the whole day and honey are we ever gonna take a day off uh, no no unless we got somebody that will watch stuff and then yeah we could take a day off. yeah so Nah, not happening. Yeah. So, this side is specifically a challenge because, good God, look at all that splitting. All that splitting in the wood. Yeah. This black jack oak sucks. Good for burning, and that's about it. Yeah. And, ooh, you can't see. There you go. Anyway, so here's the mid. So there's that four inch exterior and you can see the line in it running all the way around. This will be the mid wall where these uh, four inch blocks are at. Like I said, I probably need to get some more to fill this up. So I want a solid eight inch wall in the middle. And we're this far with our framing. Who's that? I'm just letting a friend know that our package will be here too. Oh, okay, okay. Ones. So we got, we got stuff on order. All right, so um, we're not done yet. Um, kind of hard to see. All right, these boards right here are going to go across the top. So there's boards that are going to go all the way around this thing, okay? Because the upper deck's going to go up here. And then i got to run the walls up. 
the same thing is going to happen. Whoops. Careful. There's a rock there. There's a rock. There's a rock there. The same thing's going to happen here, all around the inside here to to fill this void. So that I essentially have framing, um, have framing up and around this. I'm not sure about this. We're going to make some adjustments on this for sure. Uh, so I got to finish building this, and it's all the notes I want you to make are that if you do this, you're going to do it in such a way that you're not screwing anything in from the side the concrete's going on. Uh, I've got these little strips I showed you that I made, these little one-inch strips, and that way when it comes time and the concrete's poured all over this, and this is on the inside, I can come in here after it's hardened and take out all the screws and then pull all the boards away from the inside and just leave the concrete where it is. So that's where we're at. That's where we're at. Long hot day. Very. Um, we've only done this, been at this for about two and a half hours, maybe, or two hours, something like that, to get just get this done. And we're not done with this yet. It takes a lot of measuring, cutting, measuring, cutting. Exactly. Fine-tuning, cutting, measuring, fine-tuning, cutting. Going, oh, I told you wrong. Uh -huh. You were right. You were right. Yeah, you were right. <laughs> and uh, so this is the update for the moment. Um, this is what we're doing. We're going to cover this cover this here this lighting sucks with the sun and the, the shade idea. we got to cover this and this needs to come over oh. that way Maybe. we just yeah we just replaced this because this height was off and I needed to fix this so we're gonna have a, a board lighting board come up and go, go over and that's just a kicker that little cedar and that little cedar right there they're just kickers to hold it from coming in once the weight of the concrete is on it it shouldn't be too bad but essentially what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see if I can get the lighting on here right I'm gonna start running my courses of bricks through here and then we'll backfill with concrete run some more courses of brick backfill with the concrete and then when we do we're gonna like agitate the heck out of it so it sits flush and it fills all the cracks and voids and hopefully doesn't get up in these cracks too bad and hold the boards in that's what I was concerned about exactly. we can tape up like what we talked about yeah I know we, we could do that we, we even we talked about wrap, wrapping it with some wrapping it with some um, some uh, house wrap not that well the house wrap or I was thinking shrink wrap because we got oh uh, we got quite a few bit we, yeah, we got we some rolls of shrink wrap that. that we used to, to wrap up our meat it's kind of like uh, saran but saran wrap Socks, so you buy uh, essentially the shrink wrap. The shrink wrap. What industrial so, stuff that I use. All right, so that's it for this update. Oh my goodness, there's a gap in that board. Oh no. Well, if we wrap this, then we won't know. Yeah, if we then we might just do that. Shrink wrap this damn thing. That's a damn good idea. We're gonna. All right, that's it for this moment uh, in time. And uh, yeah, cause look at these gaps. This stuff is not pretty. All right, it's batter boards. It's like batter it's, it's chicken coop. <laughs> it's just a, it's just a batter board. It's just a batter board. All right, we're out of here. We'll catch you on the next up.